Yo, what's going on, my fellow Rust players? Uh, it's Pooh, and I'm back at it with another tutorial. It's been a long time, but uh, I just wanted to let y'all have some of my new Rust settings that I've been using for a while. So um, first, we're gonna start off with what you need to do before you launch your game. Make sure you close your game if it's already open. So uh, first, we're gonna go into Steam here and then right click on rust go to properties and then it'll come up with this and then you'll see launch options right here and i will have all these all these in the description but and uh what each of each of them do so you know and you can remove them if you want remove any of them but these are for performance and just quality of life binds and stuff for your game um and they're in the launch options, so you can have them running anytime you launch your game. And then next, we will be going to our NVIDIA control panel. And how you do that is right click in on your desktop and go to it right here. And then this right here. Once you get to this screen right here, guys, um, what you're going to want to do. Oh, sorry. We're going to go to the change under display, change resolution tab. And you want to want to have your main monitor selected. This is my second monitor. I'm going to select my main monitor here. You see 144 hertz. And then you're going to select customize and create custom resolution here. And uh, I have three resolutions for you guys that are stretched, which will reduce the number of pixels and it'll stretch your game out. And uh, so it'll give you better FPS and give you that stretched look and it's uh first one is 1440 by 1080 and then you're gonna want to press your hertz here the, your monitor is or 1280 which is a little more stretched i prefer 1440 and then 1080 by 1080 which is super stretched but i've been i've been playing on 1920 by 1080 this is native and um for those resolutions you're gonna want to go to adjust desktop um, size and position over here just give me a second and then you're gonna want to select under scaling full screen okay um, I just applied that just it didn't do anything for me because I don't have it on but that's gonna make it full screen so they'll have black bars with the resolutions because they're not like your full monitor so it stresses it out and then uh, so you're going to go to manage 3d settings here and then um, for these global settings you're going to want to go find scroll down low latency mode is the first one you're going to want to change to ultra and then power management mode down here prefer maximum performance and then um preferred where is that preferred refresh rate it's gonna have your monitor here, highest available, and then texture filtering and this anisotropic tropic sample optimization, whatever. Uh, off because that's like shaders and stuff, and then texture filtering quality high performance. And then you're gonna want to have V sync vertical sync right here, V sync, whatever. Off, and then uh, that will be it for the control panel for the like uh, 3D settings. And then next we're gonna be doing um, adjust video color settings or adjust desktop color settings, sorry. And you're gonna, it's gonna come up with this. And you can, uh, I was, I like turning the vibrance up. It makes like the game pop out more. And I don't really, I mean, you can mess with the contrast and brightness and stuff, but the main one here is the digital vibrance. It just makes it um, I don't know if you could see that, but it makes it, you can play around with it, but usually a hundred is too much for some people, but you, you can play around with like 70 to a hundred is usually what is good. Okay. So for our settings on windows, we're going to go to game mode, type it in the search bar, just say game mode right here and then make sure that's on and then go back to home on the settings, go to system. And then make sure you're on display and then scroll down and go to graphic settings right here 
and then um, under graphics performance preference, I've also I also have these two off. Go to browse, and then just find your game, your your Rust folder. For me, it's on this OneDrive, but it it should look like this. It shouldn't be too hard to find if you know where you installed it. And then just select Rust.exe right here, and then click add. And then I, I guess this is an old one, but yeah, I think I reinstalled it. But um, it should say easy anti cheat bootstrapper or whatever that is. And then um, for the next thing we are going to be doing is going to GeForce Experience. If you don't have it installed already, I'll have a link in the description. And you're going to want to go to your drivers here. I actually haven't installed the newest driver, but if it says download right here, do that because it'll fix any problems that the other driver had. And if you're having FPS issues, that'll fix that as well. <laughs> but then go to home and then go to your games and find rust and go to details. And then over here on this uh, settings icon, go to uh, press that and then Make sure you have your night, your correct resolution and display mode. And then you're gonna, it's going to be all the way over here on optimal. You're going to want to turn that all the way to performance for the best performance. And this is, this will show up as unknown in the game uh, menu, which I'll show you here in a minute, but uh, it's just custom settings that your graphics card driver will put on the game. All right, y'all, when y'all um, launch up your game in rust, Go to, to options and then go to graphics and then it should say unknown graphics quality here after you've done that in the GeForce Experience app and then just copy all these settings right here and uh, make sure your draw distance is all the way up too and um, yeah let's see here this should be at 60 or that should be at 60 and this one should be at 100 and if, make sure Nvidia reflex is on not on plus boost and then go to image effects and all these should be off but uh, sharpen you can turn off turn on if you want like a sharper look and it could help you like see stuff better <laughs> and then um, make sure that's off right there all three of these are off and turn this GC buffer all the way up and make sure optimized loading is on partial because it helps you load in faster and that is it but I will be showing you if you have a Logitech headset make sure you download the Logitech G hub app and then uh, make sure your headset showed up here after you've done that and then just copy go to headphones and then acoustics and then this equalizer thing should set up, show up here and just copy all these settings right here guys and you should be good but uh, if this video helps you out make sure you leave a like and subscribe and thanks for watching guys I'll see you in the next video